hello and welcome guys in today's video we'll be talking about uh, uh, drag polar now since in the previous class we talked about what the different types of drag are in this video we'll be focusing on um, what drag polar is okay so drag polar is nothing but a mathematical expression of uh, the drag of the total drag so in the previous class i told that total drag is equal to the parasitic drag plus the induced drag okay so in this video what drag polar is that we are uh, going to find the mathematical expression for both the uh, mm, parasitic drag as well as the induced drag okay so just to brush up uh, induced drag is, is something uh, which is caused with the during uh, when the flight is in the takeoff okay when the flight is going to take off so what happens is that uh, if i take this as the airfoil okay i'm drawing an airfoil so we have air flowing from the low pressure area to the high pressure area okay so what happens is that when this happens along the span wise flow as well as the code wise flow there uh, there is something uh, that happens which is the downwash okay so here so we have air we have air flowing okay so this is the if uh, this is the free stream velocity which is v infinity okay uh, free stream velocity is nothing but uh, a velocity which is having no contact with the airfoil or having no contact with the body okay that is what free stream means okay so uh, when this free stream velocity moves okay at certain point of time there uh, there will be something called a downwash okay because of the unstable air because of the uh, since the air moves from the high pressure area to the low pressure area along the span wise flow as well as the code wise flow the air gets disturbed at the trailing edge okay and because of that there will be something called a downwash okay and because of the downwash uh, we'll get a upwash that is a lift okay suppose here the suppose if there if there was no downwash the velocity the air will move straight okay now because of the downwash what happens is that we have air moving downwards okay okay the air will get deflected downwards due to what due to the presence of uh, what what is this okay so we'll call this as v local okay v local so the difference is uh, as uh, uh, the, the the difference between v infinity and the v local is nothing v infinity is a free stream velocity which means that the uh, this velocity has no contact with the airfoil but v local is that this velocity has contact with the airfoil okay now always remember the lift is always perpendicular to the relative airflow okay so this is the lift l local okay i'll take as lift for the local velocity okay i'll mention as l sorry okay i'll mention as l okay now the lift for v infinity is like a straight right so this is the v infinity okay now uh, always to remember this is what we this okay now this angle is what we call as the alpha i or what we call the lift induced drag okay now since and here also this is what the uh, alpha i or what we call as the lift induced drag okay so this is what this is the whole uh, this is the whole concept about lift induced drag okay now so uh, now uh, taking that into expression for lift induced drag d is equal to okay l sin alpha i 
okay okay when we resolve the two, uh, when we resolve the vector we get d equal to l sin alpha i okay we consider uh, sin alpha i to be approximately equal to alpha i so what we get d equal to l alpha i right now if you convert d to uh, the coefficient of track cd will be equal to cl alpha i yes okay now what is cl what is alpha i cl is a coefficient of lift what alpha i is alpha i is cl by pi e a r okay cl is a coefficient of lift pi is the radians and e is what we call the oswald efficiency and ar is the aspect ratio okay so if i if i put this formula into into the coefficient of drag equation what we get we get cl into alpha i formula is cl by pi e a r so the formula will be cd uh, since this is coefficient uh, induced drag i'll mention this as com comma i okay so cl square by cl square by pi e a r okay so this is the formula okay for induced drag okay now for pass for parasitic drag since i told that um, a parasitic drag is uh, is a drag which happens uh, uh, when the flight is in on the ground so in the beginning as i said if when i draw the graph was cl versus alpha i said that cl uh, with the help if the foil if the airfoil is cambered okay we have cl starting from here somewhat here okay and we have uh, we have the, uh, at the as alpha of, uh, uh, as the angle of attack keeps on increasing the cl also keeps on increasing but not infinitely but after some time the uh, we'll start losing lift if we keep on increasing the angle of attack okay what happens there is that here at this point stalling happens okay at this point stalling happens okay now at that time i said that this is what we call as the cd knot okay so for parasitic drag uh, parasitic drag is cd knot okay so always there is a parasitic drag on an aircraft as well as a lift induced drag we cannot avoid drag but we can reduce it okay so the total drag equation will be will be what total drag will be induced drag or what is the formula we derive the formula cl square by pi e a r plus cd naught which is the parasitic drag so this is an important formula for drag polar okay so always keep in mind this formula because for uh, for every flight it is a must for uh, the um, engineers to perform this calculation okay if you all found this video informative do like share and subscribe and uh, if you have any notes regarding this section to comment on this comment section thank you